my gosh. Well, that's just a reaction from someone witnessing. It's over now. These unbelievable tornadoes that cut through the Dallas-Fort Worth area a good part of the afternoon. Right now, folks, it looks like most of the Dallas-Fort Worth area uh, may be out of the woods for severe weather, but now the storm is moving towards Shreveport. There are some storms rotating, rotating in the Shreveport, Louisiana area. We have not heard of any being have touched down as of yet, but we will let you know should that happen. Now, we heard about Dallas-Fort Worth Airport, over 110 <laughs> aircraft that were damaged by hail. In that area, they got from golf ball to baseball size hail in and around the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And you know, folks, we were, we were looking at that, I was talking about those trailers that were being picked up and thrown about like they were toys. Well, just to give you, just to give you the stats, an empty one of those trailers weighs 14,000 pounds, 14,000 pounds, seven tons, 50 feet in length. And when they're full, they could weigh as much as 46,000 pounds when they are full. That just, that just shows you how powerful these supercells that pass through Dallas have been throughout the afternoon. Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington, Texas, Forty, Texas, all have sustained damage. Right now joining us, she's back with us, is Anita Foster from the Red Cross there in Dallas. When we last talked to you, Anita, you were doing, trying to do a damage assessment, and we had heard that there were over 60 families without homes in Arlington, Texas. Can you give us an update? Well, we're still uh, seeing down across the area. You know, as you guys know, the weather system did not